HVAC ducts are commonly installed either under the ground floor framing, if you have a crawl space or basement, or above the ceiling. This video will cover ceiling duct installation. Ductwork distributes central equipments, conditioned air, hot or cold, to other spaces of the house. Distribution of ductwork commonly uses a trunk and branch distribution. You can think of the trunk as a highway, and the branches as small roads that branch off of the highway to reach smaller communities. In addition to the trunk and branch for supply distribution, a return air duct is usually needed. This is usually located very close to the central furnace. But the most important thing is that it is located the furthest away possible from the supply vents. The goal of the return is to pull air in, which gets conditioned, and then is pushed back out into the trunk and branch towards each conditioned space in the house. Now let's talk about the specifics of installation. In the case of above ceiling installation, Ductwork is installed after all framing is completed and plumbing piping is installed. Ductwork is installed by creating rectangular ducts from sheet metal. In some cases, these ducts are prefabricated. Another option is to use flex ductwork that can be cut and joined to form longer runs. Regardless of which configuration you choose, all joints must be sealed properly. In fact, frequent issues in ductwork are related to the improper sealing of joints, which allow unintended elements to go into the distribution system and contaminate the home air. All ductwork is secured in place using straps fixed to the structure above the ceiling. After ductwork is installed, electrical wiring is also completed before the ceiling can be installed. Coordination is required because the space above the ceiling can be occupied by several systems that may interfere with each other and need to be relocated or moved. For the ceiling, any opening for grills and registers can be marked and cut in the ceiling finish. One also has to consider the type and thickness of the attic insulation that will be going into these areas. If the attic is conditioned and insulated, ductwork may still need to be insulated depending on the code in your area. If ductwork runs in an unconditioned and vented attic, it is required that it be insulated to increase the life expectancy of the system, as well as performance. After the ductwork is installed, the equipment, usually central furnace for heat and a condensing unit to cool the air, can be installed and once both are connected to the ductwork, the system is tested to assure proper airflow to the rooms of the house. 